the prolific nature of this statement, listener aggression is advised. Hi fans and welcome to the first ever edition of Nightmare Championship Wrestling Presents Rise to Stardom. This is a new show for our rookies to start out here in Nightmare Championship Wrestling. We will grade them, test them, see how they will do, and this is basically their first crack at car wrestling. So without any further ado, let's get on with the first match of our two this evening. The first man... Uh, entering the ring now, this is the Seven Sins rookie. That's right, Seven Sins even have their fingers in this one. And this is their rookie that they handpicked. This is Marcus Starr. And Marcus Starr, as of late, has been doing, actually, you know, he did pretty well. He did debut on Mayhem, along with a couple other guys from Rise to Stardom. And he won that match in his day. Well, excuse me, no. He come down to the final two, and he did not win. But like I said, out of six people, he come down to the final two. So even though he's a seven sins guy, I mean, this guy has a lot of talent. And we're going to see how he fares here tonight against his opponent, James Lyde. So here we go. Marcus Starr, James Lyde. Lyde is already in the ring waiting for Marcus Starr. So now that the two of them are in the ring, we're going to see how these two fare in a matchup against each other. And here we go. These two have now started, and they locked up. Like I said, folks, these two are both rookies. Uh, James Lyde, as you can see, uh, shades of myself, <laughs> has the face paint on. And nice face paint there by Lyde. And now Marcus Starr looking to fire back, and to no avail. As Lyde is now trying to stomp the opponent. Look how famous, sir. Nice running face, uh, bulldog face buster there. Oh, man, leg bulldog, excuse me. And now these two are just battling back and forth. Head control now. James Lyde has control. And he drops out of the ring. What's he going for? Oh, oh man, he just pulls his feet out from under him and he busts his face right there. He's lucky he didn't knock a tooth out on that. And look out, as all rules in uh, Rise to Sardom, these guys got to learn how to be hardcore, so every match will be under extreme rules. And Light A, oh, has no problem with that as he cracks Marcus Starr across the back of the head with that crutch. And now looking to drag his opponent back to the ring now. Hanging his neck off the apron, nice chop to the chest. Oh, followed up by a big boot to the temple. Nice combination there. By James Light A. And Light A is all over Marcus Starr. And he chose to dip right back out of the ring. Look out, Marcus Starr coming off top. Nice. Springboard crossbody to the outside. Beautiful maneuver there. By, oh, nice. And a neck breaker there to regain momentum. And uh, the stature in this match. Now they're fighting over that table that they retrieved from out from under the ring. Look out. Nice. Another leg drop bulldog to the back of the head. That famous or like maneuver to the back of Marcus Starr's head. And Light A, so far in this one, looks like he has the best of Marcus Starr. But don't count out Marcus Starr. This kid is 
very talented. And we're going to see how oh, well, now these two are fighting over that sledgehammer. Oh, nice. Shot to the gut. And Light A is not afraid to use these weapons. Oh, my goodness. Just taking that sledgehammer to Marcus Starr. Marcus Starr, he's got a... He's, oh, man. He just dropped the sledgehammer right on his opponent. I like this James Light A character. And uh, Marcus Starr... Back up while Light A is looking for another one. Oh, man. They got a trash can out now. And look out. The sledgehammer comes back into effect. Dropping it at a vertical angle straight at his opponent. Oh, man. And that time, straight into the gut. Yet again, dropping it again vertically, but to no avail. And these two are missing each other now with their strikes. Look out. Wrist control. Oh, man. Hooking him up. Could he be doing a vertical suplex on the outside? That padding is only an inch folks that's pretty much landing on concrete look out oh man these both men just grabbing weapons and now the trash can wins over the guitar apparently and these two now oh man look out and he oh man just slamming the back of light a's head into that replica championship that that fan was holding and now the trash can comes back into effect and these guys are going extreme in the first ever Rise to Stardom. Folks, Rise to Stardom will not be a weekly episodic show. Most of the time, we will try to use it as a pre-show. Oh, man, just chucking his opponent. Looked like he was trying to aim for that trash can there, but he didn't land him on it. And he's got head control again, and it looks like he could be going for yet another. Oh, man, and just a tilt-a-whirl backbreaker. Nice maneuver by Light A. Light A is just... Still in control of Matt San, uh, excuse me, of Marcus Starr. I don't know why I said Matt Santos. His uh, former Seven Sins teammate there. And look out, another chop to the chest, followed by another boot to the temple. Nice. And he's taking the crutch from the fan. And look out. Oh, man, as soon as Marcus Starr gets up, he eat eats that. Oh, man, look out. Oh, Marcus Starr. Oh, my goodness. What a package pile driver there, driving his head right into that crutch. And these two, and it looks like Marcus Starr, oh man, Marcus Starr ducks that. Look out, spins him around. What's he going for? Oh man, he looks like he was going for some kind of maneuver there, putting him up on the, his shoulders for a fireman's carry. And look out, now that table is coming back into effect. And Light A getting out of the ring now, looking to retrieve his opponent. And throw Marcus Starr, it looks like, back inside the ring. No, he throws him into the barricade. And these two, oh man, what, what could Light A be going for? Oh my goodness, Spear! Spear through the barricade! These two are going off in their official debuts here at Rise to Stardom. Wow! James Light A and Marcus Starr both putting up one hell of an offense and an effort here in their first ever match in NCW. Of course, this is Light A's first, and, you know, Marcus Starr, this is not his official debut, but this is Light A's first. And Marcus Starr and Light A now look like they're bringing it back in the ring. Light A just waiting for him. Now they're going to collar an elbow tie up, which will win. Light A gets control, turns him around. What could he be going for? Light A. Oh my goodness, just threw him on that trash can as it pops out from under Marcus Starr. Look out, big time. Sidewalk slam, one of those super swing sidewalk slams, if you will. And look out, he set the table up in the corner. And no, he throws him over the rope. Look out, and unceremoniously brings him back into the ring. Marcus Starr has complete control of James Lyday now. Oh, man, look out. He hits that. Oh, look out. We got a reversal. And Marcus Starr is laying on the table. Oh, my goodness. Big spear. That's the second spear of the match. First one went through the barricade. Second one, that table just exploded. Oh, look out. Just threw him into that corner where that ladder was. I don't know how Marcus Starr gained control out of that. Look out. Big time tornado DDT. Barely missing the ladder there. And Marcus Starr is back in control. This match has been back and forth. If you ask my opinion, I say Light A was in control m m the most of the time. Look out! Oh, man, he was coming off the top of that ladder. It looked like with an elbow drop, he was going to catch him as he was standing, but to no avail. And now, look out. Oh, man! He hip-tosses his way out of that abdominal stretch 
follows it up with that big time elbow drop, hitting the ropes now, and slows down his momentum as he draws closer to his opponent and follows it up with another big elbow drop. Look out. Oh, hitting the ropes, get, gaining more momentum as he came back and yet another elbow drop after that neck breaker. And another elbow drop. This kid loves elbow drops. All right, and it looks like we got us a vertical suplex. He is in total control now. Light A is down. Follows it up with a, yet another elbow drop. This kid is like elbow drop city. Frog splash off the top rope. Beautiful. As he nails that frog splash. Look out. Puts him on the top. He calls this the Bleeding Star. And he connects with the Bleeding Star. This could be very well it. One, two, and three. Just like that, Marcus Star puts down James Light A. Beautiful match. Awesome maneuver there to end that. And fans, we're going to go ahead and jump right on into our next match here. This is our second and final match of Rise to Stardom. Like I said, this is a mini show. And here comes the incomparable Jay Storm. He is the younger brother of Jason Storm. And they are both the sons of former world champion in Nightmare Championship Wrestling. That being Flip. And now, Jay Storm, uh, he came out on top in his debut in that six-man battle royal featuring all rookies. And, like I said, he came out on top, you know, last uh, about two weeks ago now on Mayhem. And he's, you know, we're going to see how this rookie does. In my opinion, uh, Jay Storm and Marcus Starr are the top two rookies here on Rise of Stardom. And fans, if you're interested in joining Nightmare Championship roster, uh, excuse me, Nightmare Championship Wrestling roster, then you need to hit us up, check out our website, and you know, if you want to become part of the roster, this is how you do it. You got to start out here on Rise of Stardom, as these guys are doing here tonight, and they will continue on Rise of Stardom until it is time for them to move up to the regular roster. So. If you're thinking, if you're thinking that car wrestling is something for you, and you're thinking that maybe you can do this, and you got Xbox Live on the 360, then you know, come check us out and hit us up. You know, you can find my gamer tag fairly easily, and you know, just check us out. As for right now, we're gonna check out Jay Storm taking on his opponent here tonight, and he goes by the name of Austin Young, the master of the 450 splash off the top rope. And that will be his opponent here tonight, and he will be making his way to the ring. There he is, folks. That is Austin Young. Austin Young is a very young superstar, and he's very green. We're going to see how he does here tonight as he takes on Jay Storm. Now, Austin Young has, to my knowledge, no background in car wrestling at all. I've never heard of his name in car wrestling before. Never seen highlights of him from many other companies. So, we're going to see how he does here tonight. And, uh, we're going to see. But, you know, his opponent, Jay Storm, is son of former world champion Flip. So, we're going to see if maybe that plays a factor in this match here tonight. You know, Austin Young making his debut for Rise to Stardom. So, here we go. Two rookies about to clash here in this, well... If it's the final match of the night, it must be called the main event. So, here we go. We're going to see how Austin Young fares as he goes up against Jay Storm. And now Jay Storm and Austin Young. Here we go. Two rookies making their way to the center of the ring. and Oh, they're going to taunt right into each other's face. They're going to get hyped right on up. Here we go. Collar and elbow tie up as these go two are going to go at it. Austin Young has control. Nice Enziguri. Beautiful maneuver there, kick to the back of the head, and look out, Snapmare, and then follows it up with a beautiful soccer ball kick right to the back. Oh, nice! And follows that up with a shooting star press from flat-footed stance. Nice. Now, Jay Storm. Ooh! Nice high roundhouse kick right to the head. And follows that up with a teardrop suplex. A lot of people like to call it a back suplex. I like to call it a teardrop suplex. Switches to wrist control, back-to-back -back control. Now to have side headlock. Wow. And now he's going to slam the back of Austin Young's head into the Rise to Stardom logo there on the mat. Look out. He's got a wrist control now. And a nice back elbow. 
Look out, he went for a kick, but no, Austin Young. Oh, and he counters his Enziguri. Here we go, wrist control again, and a, and a kick right to the solar plexus there. Another roundhouse puts him in the corner, but no, a reversal. Austin Young, looks like he's going to take Jay Storm to the top. Oh, no, Jay Storm kicks him off. Jay Storm's on the top. Look out. Big time. Looked like he was going for a crossbody, but to no avail. Now a collar and elbow tie-up. Has full head control. Follows that up with a, yet another Enziguri. And look out. He's outside. Now, oh, both men are outside. And it looks like Jay Storm's got a kendo stick. And he throws it in the ring now. Oh, he's looking for more toys as Austin Young is just content with his chair. And yet, no, he brings in another chair. And Jay Storm waits in the ring with the kendo stick. Oh, kendo versus guitar. Kendo wins. Dropping Austin Young with the kendo stick to the solar plexus, And then another one to the back to follow. And look out. He's setting up the steel chair. Oh, he went for a drop kick. Went for the drop kick. But to no avail. And now he throws him into the chair. Oh, beautiful maneuver there by Austin Young. Austin Young now with guitar. He's looking to take out. Oh, no. Now they're fighting over the guitar. Who's going to take who to Honky Tonk Land here? Look out. The guitar's down. Oh, right, kick to the gut. Side headlock. Now dragging him in around the ring. Jay Storm. Now, oh, loses control. And Topsy turning now. Oh, it looks like he was going for a big knee, but caught a boot on the way in. Oh, and another Enziguri there by Austin Young. Austin Young is... Oh, man, look out. He's got that guitar again. Oh, he misses. Springboard, no. And he's still swinging for the fences with that guitar. It's nothing. He just can't hit shit. Oh, man. He couldn't hit traffic in fucking New York. Oh, there it is. All right, nice. He finally breaks the acoustic guitar across the face of Jay Storm. Now he's hooking his ankle. All right, all right. That's a little bit far there, Austin. Come on, Austin, man. Whew. Thank God, Jay kicked it off his ankle. Look out, he's got the kendo now, and now they're going to fight over the kendo. Bam! Kendo shot right to the fucking stomach. Nice. Throws the kendo down. And it looks like Jay Storm is looking for some form of other weapon here. He's got a table. Austin Young hitting the ropes, coming back. Suicide dive outside. Oh, man, while Jay Storm had that table in his hands, he must not have seen him come out. And Jay Storm, uh, Jay Storm miraculously, wait a minute, he hits the ropes now. Outside dive by Jay Storm. Oh, my God, these guys are going off on each other. What a way to end the first ever rise to stardom. Nice back elbow as these two are fighting on the outside. He catches the foot, went for another Enziguri, but to no avail. Head control, and he throws him in the ring. Jay Storm. He might have been trying to buckle his knees on those uh, steel steps as we've seen so many times before. Oh, what the hell? Austin Young, he knocks down the referee. Look out. Corkscrew reverse swinging neckbreaker. Nice move there. And look out. Austin Young's up. Beautiful float over some sort of modified suplex. Looks like he was choking him as he threw him over. Reversal from the Irish whip. Nice sleeper slam there by Austin Young. Austin Young reversed. And now Jay Storm coming back on him. But wait, no. Reversal by Austin Young. Austin Young's back. Nice. another A running knee. This time not to the ref. This time it was to Jay Storm. So he connected with his opponent. Setting up that table now in the corner. Picking his opponent up. Austin Young has control. What could he be going for here? He backs off. No. Spear! Spear through the wooden table. Just exploding that table into pieces. And now he's got to regroup as Jay Storm slides out of the ring. He's under the ring now looking for a weapon. He's got a ladder. Throwing it in the ring now. But wait, he's going for more toys. As Austin Young changes his mind, drops that chair, and chooses to pick up the ladder. And we got a table. Oh, man, we got TLC, tables, ladders, and chairs. Look out. Ladder wins for now. Jousting that ladder right in the face of Jay Storm. And Jay Storm is down, man. Wait a minute. These two are fighting over the table now. Oh, man. Puts him on top of the table. And look out. He's got the kendo. Wait, he drops it. 
And oh my goodness, Jay Storm, this rookie, this newcomer, this young gun, is off the ladder with a frog splash through the table. Oh my god, both competitors are down and both men are taking it to the max here in the first ever main event of a rise to start him and wait he's going for a pin here one and no kick out at one look out one footed uh drop kick there by austin young he's out of the ring and now he's back in and now austin young has control of the head with what looked like a major stall followed by an enziguri beautiful off the top rope 450 he nails it finish her off the top rope one and he kicks out at one. Oh my god he kicks out at one and look out, knocking the ladder over. Now. Oh man, it looked like he came back and hit him. And he loses control and he catches a teardrop suplex for his troubles. And look out. Oh man, he's going for something. He could be going for another one of those. Oh, he flips him off right in his face. But no, a reversal. Nice reversal. He went for that flying knee again, but no, catches him. Turns it right into that beautiful spine buster there. Modified. Went for another one into another modified spine buster. And now the ladder is set up in the corner. Oh, man. Jay Storm getting fired up. Firing off. Multiple times. Multiple close punches to the face. And another reversal. Uh-oh. And yet, another reversal. These guys are going at it in their debut. And another reversal. Holy shit. Went for, uh, he reversed the Enziguri. Neither one of these guys want to die. And another one of those float over what looked like a choke, choke suplex. Has head control now. Throws him into the ropes. Look out. Oh, man. Has him with... Oh, it picks him up for that beautiful scoop power bomb, and now he's calling for it yet again. He could be going for that inverted. It starts out like a, a cradle pile driver, but no, it turns into a flatliner like that, folks. That is the finishing maneuver there by Jay Storm. One, two, no! I thought it was over. Oh man, I thought the match would have been over right there as he hit his finisher on Austin Young, but Austin Young just doesn't want to give up. Austin Young setting the ladder up now. Doesn't like it in the corner, so he, he sets it up there in the ring. Oh, he knocks him down with a beautiful running knee. And now Austin Young looks like he could be climbing to the top of the ladder. Oh, man, if he jumps off of this, this could very well be over. Oh, my God, he hits his 450 off the ladder. One, two, three. Austin Young wins in his debut here on Rise to Stardom. What a hell of a match. Fans, catch us next time here on Rise to Stardom.